after spending two nights locked inside his room, it is now the 6th of January and the paranormal activity has intensified and what he captures next is absolutely terrifying. Oh fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck? Whoa! What the fuck? Kurva! A few days later on the 10th of January he went out and when he returned home late in the evening an unpleasant surprise awaited him. Ja pierdola. What the fuck? Yeah, cool. What the fuck? What the fuck? Yeah, you stole What the fuck? Yeah. Even in his own bedroom, he isn't safe. Ej, ja pierdolę. Naprawdę już mam dość. Cały czas słyszę, jakby mi coś kurwa dział po przedpokoju. Już naprawdę mam dość. Nie mogę spać. Jak widzicie, specjalnie poprzesuwałem wszystkie rzeczy, bo kurwa mam już dość patrzenia na te pierdolone drzwi. Ja pierdolę. Co jest? Uuu. Nie. Uuu. This was the last bit of activity ever uploaded to the page, and no more updates were provided ever since this day. So it is unclear what the result of this Polish haunting was. But hopefully he moved out in time and everything stopped. But in the end, real ghost or not, you judge that is supposedly haunted in the middle of the night with a few friends. However, he decided to climb up into a closed off prohibited area by himself to check out the prison cells. And when he does, something creepy is captured. Watch closely. I uh, may or may not have climbed up because there's no stairs. As Josh approaches the final cell and takes a glance inside, what looks like a dark figure can be seen just standing there inside the cell, freaking him out to the core and causing him to immediately run away without looking back. Josh and his friends have no idea what they have seen and are left freaked out as they can only conclude that it must have been something paranormal. Perhaps the spirit of an inmate who remained bound to his cell, unable to pass on from the guilt of his crimes. But who knows? I live in a country, not too many people know about this back here, but I'm telling you, I could have sworn I saw somebody. Oh my goodness. Hey, Zach! I could have sworn. See, Zach! There is some, there is a man over there. What? I'm not even playing. A strange humanoid looking creature can be seen lurking behind the tree. It looks like it's grey, and one viewer suggested it's an owl, while many others say it's a skinwalker. What do you think? The final judgment is yours to make. Uh, 
absolute fuck is it? to regret that I stopped at this rest stop. <laughs> okay. And they say Bigfoot isn't real? I don't ever want to stick my arm out the window. <laughs> Dude. Just wait. Did you hear that? You didn't hear that. There's something under there. Bro. Dude, please don't go down there. Oh my gosh. Dude, hold on. Let me go first. Let me go first. He was haunted by something that mimicked his girlfriend's voice. A man named Giovanni Lima and his girlfriend Laura kept getting visited by a strange entity late at night. Ever since something mimicking his girlfriend's voice followed him home, Giovanni and Laura have been trying to make it stop. After researching what this thing might be, they prepared a spiritual barrier on the door. But one night, while Giovanni and Laura are sleeping in the room, it paid them a visit. Vai embora da minha casa agora! Você não é bem-vindo aqui! You can hear Laura's voice outside their room, trying to get in. Michael Brownlee, a former reporter for the LA branch, has a history of potentially transforming, a point that seemingly rejects the theory it's due to compression issues. However, the most infamous transformation came when the cameraman, apparently aware of Brownlee's emerging real form, turned the camera away for no reason. Now, you, we talk about the mother's arrest, but the mother says that her 16-year-old daughter, the victim in this case, was also arrested here back on September 18th. Now, keep in mind, this is the family story, their account of what they see happened here on campus earlier this month. Unfortunately, we weren't able to reach the school district for comment, but keep in mind, a mother and daughter baffled over how a celebration with cake... Can you imagine almost being kidnapped and not even knowing? And then you just happen to look at your ring footage and you see this? This is why you should always be aware of your surroundings. This is so scary. Watch the guy in the red hat.
is a fun. <laughs> the more you listen, the less scary it sounds. The more I listen, the more scary it sounds. Oh, we gotta get the <laughs> Yeah. I think I know what it is. I think it's a hyena. So a hyena sound like? No. This video is making the rounds right now because of just how unsettling it is. But the question is, what are you doing in the situation? My friend was working in a dark basement. Then this guy came out of nowhere. Then the guy started whistling and walking towards my friend. Tension? Hello, man. Hello? I wake up thinking there was a man or something right here. This is so scary, you guys. I was like, <gasps> and then I was like, what the fuck? No, I, I had some really bad thoughts. Um, then I was like, what is that? I turned on the lights. Oh my god. 